It's that time of year again. The holidays are here and you probably still have some shopping to do even though it's last minute. There are a lot of gift guides out there and if you saw last year's video we made, you know we like to approach these a little differently. Now we've got 10 things. Keep in mind, none of these recommendations are sponsored. They're all just fun little choices of ours personally, and if you're curious, they're all linked below. We've also got some good tips in here, especially for those who might be kind of stuck not knowing what to get their gamer friend, so let's just kick it off and get going with number 10. We'll start small. You know, you might want to get them something cool, weird, and different, maybe kind of goofy, tacky, you know? So at this point, let's knock out some of the smaller knickknacks, because there were a couple cute things that we really enjoyed. Uh, the first is this brilliant mug. This is like a prank color-changing mug. You know, the kind of mug when you pour a hot beverage in it, uh, the color changes. Well, here, it starts out as a black mug, and then it fades into the... You. Intro of Skyrim, which is a total meme at this point because it's the most repetitive opening ever because we've all played the game a thousand times. I'm actually over explaining it. I, I think it's better to just hand someone this cup and see what happens, but that's just me. Uh, for the PC player in your life, one thing we really liked was this like handmade real wood volume control knob. It looks like you can get it for under 50 bucks. You plug it right into your PC via USB and you have multiple control options right there. Boom. Also, if we're talking about PC players, uh, we also have this really cool 8-bit dough mouse. This this is, this is really, really cool. It's an NES inspired mouse, but it, it, it's really impractical. But maybe for someone, maybe you have a gamer friend who's like a traveler and needs to just throw a quick mouse in a bag if they're traveling. The 8 Bitdo N30 wireless mouse is definitely cool. It definitely makes a statement. It's often sold out, so good luck, but we wanted to recommend it as a good stocking stuffer. And of course, I mean, it's worth pointing out, you can always give the gift of memory, which is actually way more thoughtful than you'd think. Still, the biggest thing we've seen here that is like the biggest hit, the biggest crowd pleaser is to get someone you love a big ass Nintendo Switch micro SD card. What is a better gift than knowing that you now are able to fit every game you've ever wanted to download right there, right on the go? That friend will never forget you. You're welcome. Now over to number nine, let's talk about Xbox Game Pass. Uh, there's some pretty good deals out there currently. Walmart had a thing going where it was Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and it was buy three months and get three months free. Uh, also it's worth pointing out too, a, a 12 month subscription to PlayStation Now is also available just to buy if you have a friend that is down with that all digital future. But with the way these works, it's really thoughtful to give somebody access to what is essentially the Netflix of games. Xbox Game Pass has actually been pretty valuable to a lot of players and it's even even given some people who have dust on their Xbox kind of a new lease on life, you know? Maybe that's gonna work out for somebody that you know. Maybe they'll be happy. Uh, they'll also end up like us and they're gonna be completely overwhelmed with the amount of games available on PS Now and Xbox Game Pass and services like it because it's basically like Netflix. It's like too many things, not enough time to watch them all. And too many games, not enough time to play them all. Still, we think it's pretty cool. But over at number eight, let's talk headsets. Headsets are always a winner, obviously. I wanna give you guys a heads up, like a pro tip, especially if you're a little bit lazy. Uh, there is a way like on Amazon to just look at all the PC gaming headsets and look at the actual best sellers. Uh, they rank them in number order. That's very easy, especially if like you don't know what you're looking at or if you don't have time. Uh, but we can personally recommend a couple. Uh, the A10s, the Astros on the cheaper side are very good. The A40s on the more expensive side are also very good. The Razer Nari Ultimate has made us happy. Uh, but the HyperX Cloud 2, man, we've recommended those things quite a bit and we still love them here. There's a lot of things you gotta weigh when you are buying someone a headset. The style, do they like that crazy over-the-top RGB gamer style or not? Uh, how much do they actually care about sound quality? How are they going to be connecting it? What are they going to be connecting it to? Uh, and it's worth pointing out, like as a little disclaimer, maybe consider including a gift receipt. So, you know, they could just exchange it pretty easily and not have to worry. Because like I said, everybody has their own different tastes and preferences and headsets. So it's important to at least account for that. Now for number seven, maybe you have a content creator in your life. For them, we definitely recommend the Elgato HD60S Plus. This is the newest, baddest Elgato capture card. I'm glad they finally got like a 4K pass-through thing going on consoles. If, if you are that type of person, it's definitely useful. Also, I think we recommended it last year, but the Elgato Stream Deck is fun if you're a streamer. And even if you're not a streamer, it's just a fun little thing to have on your desktop and have little shortcuts that you can program to it, but I digress. Uh, also, maybe a Yeti mic. We've recommended them before. They're 
They're solid, they're simple, they get the job done. The standard Yeti is still good as hell and you're able to find sales on it a lot, especially during holiday seasons like right now. But still, it seems like the newer Rage is the Yeti Nano. It's basically a miniaturized version of its older brother. It lacks a few features, but sounds almost identical. It's capable of recording in 24-bit audio and what, what few features it does lack, it makes up for it being so much smaller and sleeker than its older counterpart and it comes in at a sub $100 price point if that's what you're looking for. Also, if we're talking about you buying gifts for a content creator or a budding content creator, uh, definitely give them your love and support because they're going to need it. That's my corny little aside. Moving on over to number six, buy them merch related to their favorite games. That's obvious, of course, you know, but don't half-ass it. I'm not talking t-shirts, Funko Pops, or posters. Think deeper. This is definitely something that some people just, it seems like they don't have the time to stop and think about. Do you have a friend that has a, a favorite video game series? Well, instead of buying them another copy of the game or even another action figure, go deeper. Maybe find vintage ads on eBay for that game that you can print out and frame. eBay is really your friend in this regard. You can always find weird, weird, and sometimes rare stuff connected to your favorite video game or series or fandom, whatever. Also, definitely Etsy is your friend for like custom stuff. You know, I used to always just think Etsy was a website just for girl stuff, but there's really stuff for every type of person. And you can get a lot of stuff handmade and customized. And there's a lot of video game themed stuff there from plushes to actual really cool clothing, cosplay stuff to can candles, to cookbooks. There's a lot more stranger, interesting video game stuff out there to buy people, and it's worth diving deep and taking a look. Now on a more simple side, uh, definitely something worth thinking about is maybe giving your friend or relative who is a gamer the gift of better control options. Uh, the newest Xbox Elite controller, the second one, is really kick-ass. And then of course there's the Vantage 2 for PC and PS4. That's kind of like one of the better PS4 DualShock controllers you can get that are kind of like beefed up and give you a little bit more control options. Uh, for somebody, giving them a gift and handing them a nice expensive, maybe even overpriced controller, that weight in your hand still, regardless, is is really satisfying and it'll definitely make someone happy. You can also go the customization route, which we talked about last year. Uh, Xbox has that like design lab studio where you can customize an Xbox One controller. Uh, and then if you're on the PS4 or wherever, Scuff also has a ton of options, like a crazy amount of options for just variants and customization. So you can really go wild. It's something that they're gonna use every day and you can give it a personal touch. So it's kind of nice. But now moving on over to number four, that's all well and good for console players, but what about PC players? Well, how about an enthusiast mechanical keyboard? This is something that a lot of the guys here at the GameRanks office has been absolutely obsessed with this year and for good reason. This is a deep world of building and customizing your own very particular high quality keyboards. And while we'll admit it's not usually gaming in mind first and foremost, it's still like a like a fun, rewarding, and deep hobby that you can dangerously get addicted to and it can cost you a lot of money. But uh, there is some wiggle room for gaming. Uh, the Ducky One 2 is like the solid gaming one right now. Some esports players do use it, but there's so many different things you can do from customized bases, uh, keycap sets, lighting, the actual switches you use. There, there's a lot to this and a friend can really kind of get into building the keyboard exactly to their specifications and have some fun. We really love tech over here, so we just wanted to point it out. Uh, definitely consider pointing them towards r slash mechanical keyboards. That's where the real hardcore stuff is. There's plenty of resources there. Go nuts. Now, down to number three. This is a steep one, but still a special one. Kind of an obvious one, but maybe not. Uh, we really want to recommend the Oculus Quest. It's a device that we found really kick-ass this year, and it's kind of reinvigorated VR. A lot of people weren't sold on VR. A lot of people thought VR is overpriced, and it still is. But Oculus Quest seems like the perfect bridge, the perfect connection point, you know? It essentially gives you very high quality games, actual real VR games that you can stand up and play in a room, you know, the legit stuff. It's not a phone strapped to your face, plugged into a cheap plastic headset, and it's completely wireless. That is the big thing. That is the game changer. This thing is great to bring around, pop it on a relative's head, show them the magic of VR, really freak them out. Not only that, it now also has Oculus Link in beta, which allows you to, via USB-C, plug it directly into a gaming PC and make it a full-fledged gaming headset, so it's versatile. Like I said, the fact that it retails for like 400 bucks is steep, but they are still flying off the shelf at least here in New York and for good reason. We're recommending it mostly because again it can convince people of VR who may have been naysayers but also it's good for all ages. And on the flip side too, uh, don't discount the PlayStation
PlayStation VR. Sony still supports it. And just in 2019 alone, we've gotten a ton of exciting new PSVR games that are worth checking out. We like VR, we like talking about it, so we just wanted to point that out. Now over to number two, if we're thinking unconventionally again, if you love games, odds are you'll love going to a gaming related event too. Making tickets to something like that a really good option. Like, so if we had to recommend one, it would probably be tickets or a badge to go to PAX. Just any PAX, any Penny Arcade Expo. If you've never been, it'll be an eye-opening video game event just filled with like-minded, passionate gamers all there for the same reason you are. And you get panels and game demos and opportunity to buy merch, meet your favorite creators and game developers and a bunch of stuff. You can also opt for tickets for something like an E3 or a Gamescom or any other local thing depending on your locale. It's worth pointing out that of course, there is a, a steep price for something like this if you have to travel for it. Obviously. Obviously, hotel rooms and airplanes are expensive, so I definitely recommend, because I get it, go on the lookout for a local video game or, say, comic book convention. You'd be surprised how many there are, and you'd be surprised how much fun they are. Tickets for those are usually way cheaper, and it'll still make somebody very happy for Christmas. Outside of conventions, though, there have been a bunch of touring orchestra events playing music for games like Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, and Zelda, like, full band. All of those are just, like, a fun, interesting night out and enjoying a shared life of games with other people. We highly recommend stuff like that. Stuff you get people breaks, deteriorates, but experiences kind of last forever. But down to number one, finally, we want to state the obvious that sometimes people miss, especially older people out there. Just ask the gamer what he or she wants. Too many people get a game they don't want or don't have, and, and damn it, it has to stop. Now, if you can't ask them exactly what they want, don't feel bad getting them a Steam, uh, an Xbox, PlayStation, Amazon gift card. Uh, get them V-Bucks, I don't care, whatever virtual currency, even though sometimes that stuff is gross. If that's what they're into, that's what they're into. Buy them some games digitally. I believe Ubisoft has a good sale going on right now. Maybe for next year, prepare yourself with a Steam sale, purchase some games for somebody as a gift. I don't know, there's so much out there, but honestly, at the end of the day, getting somebody a video game that they actually want makes all the difference. It's a beautiful thing. But these are some things that we're definitely recommending in 2019 for the holiday season. Uh, some tips that we hope actually really helped you. More than anything, we would love to know in the comments uh, what you're going to get your friends who play video games. There's so much stuff out there and we'd love to hear from you guys. And, and if you got anything for me at all, be sure to hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Jake Baldino and send me your Christmas lists there. I'd love to see what you're buying people or getting. If you enjoyed this video and maybe it helped you a little bit, clicking the like button is the best way you can help us out. We would really appreciate that. And if you're new, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because we put out videos every single day and we're not stopping in 2020. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.